Welcome back to Aviator Games, my name is Mr. Aviator and today we're going to be playing some Game Dev Tycoon. Now guys, doer games have been doing amazing since we started our studio. We actually in the last episode moved into a brand new studio basically stating that we're very wealthy, doing a great job and we have tons of money in the bank. So today, we're going to take a crack at making a game that everyone wants to see, probably a lot of people in this community, The Sims 5. That's right, we're going to take a peek uh, or a crack at trying to make The Sims 5, plus I'm going to talk about everything I would like to see in The Sims 5. Now, I'm going to do a dedicated series on this about things I want to see in The Sims 5, things I want to see The Sims team do in the future, and things I really want to see go into the next generation of Sims gaming. So stay tuned for that series on the channel, but today we're going to talk a little bit about what I want to see in The Sims 5 as we make The Sims 5 game. So it's going to be really fun, but guys, hit that like button if you guys are just uh, really enjoying yourself right now. I know I am, so I have, uh, if I could hit the like button, I would. Maybe I actually will hit my own like button. You know, I live a sad life. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video because you won't want to, you know, starting May 1st, we're going to seven videos a week, every single week, shows you won't want to miss, Sims Craft is coming back to the channel, a new Sims series called Sims 4 Millionaire is coming to the channel, and then we have our Sims 3 Legacy series, you're not going to want to miss any of those, so hit that subscribe button, but let's get started, Game Dev is just thanking us for being amazing and buying their game, and and playing it and stuff, and that's great, because we like to play their game, okay, so now what we're going to do, guys, we have to make The Sims 5, but before we do that, let's generate a game report for our last game, you know, we gotta find out what was wrong with it because a lot of things have been going wrong with our games recently. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of new things we can actually add here to our next game engine. We can do character progression, level editor, open world, mono sound, stereo sound, multiplayer. We need to research all of these, but we gotta save up some points, so we gotta create some more games. Now, guys, Basically, let's talk about The Sims 5. Now, there's speculation that it could come out this September, but it could also be in 2019. And there's even some speculation that The Sims 5 will never come out, and The Sims is only going mobile, but pff, we'll talk more on that, you know, in a future video. I'm doing a dedicated series, guys, going all in on The Sims 5, things I'd like to see, how I'd like it to look, expansion packs I'd like to see, how I'd like it to, to start out. If you guys are excited for that series, let me know what you'd like to, me to talk about in the comment section down below. It'll probably be like a 10-part series all about The Sims 5. Okay, but, okay, game is off the market, running gun. So what we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna make a new game. So let's go here, we're gonna develop a new game. Okay, this is gonna be a medium-sized game. It's gonna be rated E for everyone. We're gonna make it a, um, hmm. Well, actually, we need to research a life simulation. We don't have that yet. Okay, so since we don't have life simulation, let's do a, uh, virtual pet. No, let's do a airplane, uh, sim game, strategy game, simulation, simulator. And let's make it for PC if we still have that option. We do. The PC still exists. Great. We're going to call this, um... No fly zone, because <laughs> you're a pilot that flies where you're not supposed to. Okay, so let's make this 2D graphics, of course. Okay, so no fly zone. We're starting to work on that. Let's send our employee on vacation for some reason. He's extremely tired already. Uh, we're going to focus on engine a little bit. We're going to put myself on this and him on these two things. There we go. So we're going to focus as much on the gameplay as we can because games are only good if the gameplay is really good. So let's focus on the gameplay as best as we can. Now, guys, The Sims 5, as we're working on all of this, let's talk about The Sims 5 a little bit. I think, personally, it could come out this September. If you look at the trends, every four to five years we have a new Sims game. And I believe that uh, right now we could be looking at 2019 as well. I have my fingers crossed for 2018 because I feel like the game is getting really stale. Sims 4 has run its course. It, does, it doesn't have seasons yet it doesn't have university you know it's missing some key expansions like ambitions and everything that really made sims 3 great but i think it's time to throw sims 4 in the trash and you know start looking forward to greener pastures so that's what i'm really hoping that the sims team does and says hey let's start developing the sims 5 now i'm hoping that it's been underway for a while if we don't see the sims 5 this year i'm guessing we're going to see one more expansion pack uh this year one more next year and then we're going to see probably a couple stuff packs and maybe a game pack but i really feel like they've exhausted stuff packs who else feels like they've exhausted stuff packs in the process of making The Sims 4. I feel like stuff packs are all the rage, and now I'm, I'm kind of sick of stuff packs. I don't want to see another stuff pack for the rest of my life. So I really hope, guys, I'm going to, like I said, do a dedicated 5 to 10 part series where I break down The Sims 5 base game. I break down its its release date. I break down art style. I break down things I want to see in expansions. And it's going to be really, really good. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But let's finish this game up. 
And we have 14 and 22, so that wasn't that great. To be honest, this was actually a very mediocre game. I'm hoping that we've done well with No Fly Zone, but we're gonna have to cross our fingers. So our staff is getting a raise in salary because they've been working really hard, I guess. And it doesn't seem to be too hard. First game reviews are in, and it looks like we're going to get a six from Star Games. They said they like it, uh, and Forum Gamer said, nice experience. Uh, game here says, shows potential, and all games said quirky, but good. So 6.25. You know, not horrible. Let's generate a game report for No Fly Zone. Let's do some research. So we really need to get, I think, stereo sound. I think that is the future. So let's get stereo sound. We don't need to do mono sound. I think we're we're so far in the past, our game engine sucks. Okay, let's get a small booth at this next game convention because we need to talk about our No Fly Zone project here. It's kind of crap. <laughs> I mean, I don't think a lot of people are going to be huge fans of it, but, you know, it's selling some. Okay, let's go to research. Okay, we need to wait. We need to get one more research point. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so let's go to research, and we're going to research a new topic. Now, do we have any new po topics we'd like? So we can get a... Evolution, let's get a pirate. Let's do pirate, okay? Pirate seems like it could be a very successful way to start life. Okay, game report. What did we do wrong? Engine seems to be quite important. So we didn't focus enough on engine, which sucks. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, oh, we're at the game convention with no fly zone. Are people going to enjoy this game? I mean, some people are. I mean, we're ranked number 72 right now, and we're gaining fans, and people are enjoying it. 63,000 sold. And 50,000, 51,000 people visit our booth. It was a small booth. So, we didn't make the top 100 booths, though, but that's okay. You know, you can't always make the top 100. Now, as soon as we're done researching this, we're going to develop a new game, guys. Uh, maybe, actually, let's find a publishing deal, okay? So, let's go to Zombies Casual Game now. Zombies Casual is a horrible combination. Um, any topic casual, okay? We can do this, yes. So, we're going to make it a... Oh, it's going to have to be a medium game. We're going to make it for young people. And let's make it a casual virtual pet game for the Super Nintendo, and we'll call it Pet My Dog. Okay, so this is going to be groundbreaking, guys. People can't wait for Pet My Dog. They can't wait to get their hands on it. Today, Vony has announced their, new, their first console. Wow, the PlayStation's coming out, guys. Okay, so we're going to work really hard on this. We're done researching pirates. That's great. So now what we got to do is, this is a casual game, so we're going to focus on these two things. You know, we're going to put myself on this, and him on that, and him on that, okay? There we go, we're feeling pretty good. Sip is on it, we're on it. Sequels, we can do sequels now. Okay, that's good, so if we ever have a really good game, we can do a part two. Okay, so there's some hype, so let's do some marketing. Let's get some marketing behind this, okay? Let's do a small magazine run, you know, $50,000, let people know, Pet My Dog is going to be amazing. Uh, we're going to make sure artificial intelligence is good. I mean, and then level design is okay. I mean, let's try that. We're going to really go all in that, you know, if you're going to have a virtual pet, you need it to be artificially smart. Otherwise, it's not, how is that fun? Okay, so let's do another little round of marketing and some hype. Let's do a magazine and demo. That's $150,000. But this is going to bring a lot of hype to pet my dog. Look at 22 hype already. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We need another person to work here. I'm really feeling that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try this. We're gonna see if this works out. So now that Pet My Dog is ready to come out, let's do another magazine. Let people know, hey, we're coming to the final stages. Pet My Dog's doing pretty good. The technology and the design just aren't too good for a medium game. I thought this would be a lot bigger and a lot better. So we'll just see what kind of money we can make from this. Um, and we gained some good research. Uh, the game kind of sucks, to be honest, skill point wise. But we unlocked a lot of new research, so let's go here and generate a game report. Why is Pet My Dog bad or good? Okay, so let's see. Is it good? It's horrible. <laughs> uh oh, a five has its moments. A five, fun at stages. Uh oh. A six shows potential, and a six casual games work well on the Super Nintendo. Well, that wasn't good, so we just kind of made a big mistake. I think a lot of people are going to be very upset that this game sucks. Uh, let's do, okay, let's do open world next. And then let's do that. So let's do open world because if we're going to make our next engine, we have to have the best of everything. Now, I'm sure our guy is going to be a little bit mad. Uh, the game doesn't live up to the expectations, so we're going to be penalized 225 grand. But we're making decent money off this game. You know what? We're getting our name out there. We're garnering some fans. Let's decrypt this message. What does it say? Nah, we're not going to sabotage our friendly competitive studios. Okay, let's research this. What else do we need? Let's do a day and night cycle, obviously. Games need that kind of stuff if they're going to be successful. 
So we really do need to beef up our, our engine, I think. Okay, let's do um multiplayer. I think that's the key to any good game. You need to have multiplayer. So we're going to research a couple more. Let's fill this position, you guys. We got money. We, we, we should fill this position. Okay, so let's go. Let's apply some money here. Let's go with like $300,000 and do complex algorithms. Okay, so we're going to start looking for somebody that could potentially work here across from Sipmeyer. And I'll be over here and we should have a decent sized studio. We're not going to start another game really until... We can get, uh, you know, the training and everything we need and get ready to make the next big game. So, let's do, um, hmm, what tra kind of training should we do? No, 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 let's, let's, I got an idea. Oh, oh, here we go. So, this guy's not good at design. This guy's, they're all really good at technology. They're just not good at design. So, 16K a month, 17K a month, 23K a month. Okay, I think we're going to have to say, uh, Amy, you're going to be hired. So, Amy is hired. Make male and female staff diversity. Look at us. Okay, so let's go here and let's train her and give her the staff staff welcome training. She's gonna need that. Uh, and then we're going to come over here and we are going to find contract work. So let's just do play test. Okay, let's accept that. This is gonna get us a little research points and just like help us as a company get some stuff done. We're gonna hope for the best. Hope we can actually accomplish this. This seems like something pretty easy to accomplish. I think we're both idiots though, and we suck really bad, and we're gonna fail this for some reason. So, oh, we did it. Contract successful on the barely on the nick of time. Twenty-five thousand uh, dollars. Okay, so hi again. Heard back from the client, and they loved it. Great. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, so let's see. Do we need vacations? I think we're needing vacations, or we're 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 sending the staff on training. So we've trained everyone. Everyone's trained. Everyone's ready. You know, I think we're going to get a fuller staff. Let's continue. Okay, let's go like $400,000. Get someone good at game demo. You know, we need a full staff, guys. We got to keep going. Pet My Dog is off the market. You know, it sold some units. We made some money. So we're, we're floating just fine. We need to hire more people. Make sure everyone's ready for this big, big task. Okay, so these people are kind of middle of the road, even keel here. Alan Lowe, uh, Art Johnson, and Jeremy Harper. Okay, so we're going to go with this man right here, Alan Lowe. Okay, we're going to train him and give him a staff welcome training, okay? So there we go. Everyone's going to be trained. Everyone's going to be ready. It's going to be amazing. And hopefully we can make an amazing game now and everyone will be really, really excited. So let's actually go look at our game history. So game history, what was our best scored game? Uh, 6.25, okay, we have an 8 there, King's Quest, that was probably pretty good, Dance, Dance, Death by Weather, Disaster Simulation, okay, maybe we do another one of these, uh, Disaster Simulation games, and kind of see what we can come up with here, so, let's go and develop a new game, and let's make it a, a small game, let's make it E for everyone, no, M for Mature, and then we'll do Disaster, where's Disaster, where is Disaster, Disaster Simulation game, um, and we'll pick a platform. We'll put it on PC, and we'll call it um, uh, we'll call it a uh, tropical disaster. 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 I'm spelling this wrong. Why am I doing this wrong? Dis. Okay, tropical storm. <laughs> disaster. I yeah. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Bro, oh, it's right here. Yep, I was right. Okay, great. Let's do it. Tropical storm. Let's release it. 2D graphics. Let's see how good the team is, guys. Okay, we're going to focus on engine and gameplay a lot, so let's do that. Okay, it looks like we aren't doing much, which is great. Um, okay, hype game, be modest. Let's be modest. We don't want to create too much hype. Thanks for your time. So we don't want to create too much. We're going to do some magazine articles, too, alongside of it. Try to get some hype for Tropical Storm. Uh, I'm going to definitely put some effort into level design as well. And now I think at this point we can do some magazines and demos. So we're going to spend some money on this game. You know, we have 20,000 fans now. It's really time to release a game, I think, that's going to blow people's minds. Uh, sound's going to be important. Gameplay's going to be important. World design, not so much. Let's do that. And then let's go to marketing one more time and get a small campaign, guys. Half a million dollars. And the hype for this game is unreal. Tropical Storm. People are so excited to get their hands on it. I think the game's turning out pretty well for being a small game. So, 21 technology, 10 design. You know, we're going to finish this game up. 11 and 22. Let's get a large booth here. 1.5 million. 
So, large booth. We're spending the money. We're hoping Tropical Storm gets rave reviews. You know, we this we th the whole company could go bankrupt if this game doesn't do well. So, we have to hope that this game does amazing. And review-wise, we're seeing a 7. Okay, simulation games work well. A 6. Okay, a 6. Give me another 7. A 6. Okay, so 6.25. I mean, no one was excited, excited about Tropical Storm, but... It's okay, which is fine. You know, let's send him on vacation. Do we need to send you on vacation? No, we don't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have them research some stuff in the meantime. Let's do uh, let's do uh, level editor. I think that's a good idea. And we'll have Amy research uh, Easter eggs just because I think that would be great. Okay, and then it looks like Tropical Storm is making us money. We're going to make some. And we're going to have the game convention. As you can see, Tropical Storm is the headliner. We're hoping to be one of the largest booths. We had 50,000 people last year. We're a massive booth this time. Everyone's playing Tropical Storm. We have 202,000 people at our thing. Did we crack top 100? We didn't make the top 100 booths this year. Dang, okay. And dialogue seems to be not important. Tropical audience, uh, disaster mature are great. Okay, well, I mean, we did everything right. We're just not making a ton of money. So we'll just have to hope that this next game is a little bit better. Let's find a publishing deal. Okay, so they want a minimum score of six. They want the game to be medium. They want it to be any topic, any genre. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, medium for young audience. Okay, the topic can be, um, let's see, what was on the NES? So we saw a lot of platformer games. So let's do a rhythm game and make it casual. And we'll put it on the NES and we'll call it Beats by... Dr. Zach. Okay, Beats by Dr. Zach. This is going to be a great game. Uh, let's develop it. Our engine's way behind. I think that's what's really hurting us here. We need to get a better engine, okay? So that's something we might have to focus on. Gameplay and engine, we'll focus on this. So I'll focus on gameplay, engine, uh, and then we'll have, you know, Amy over here. So we're just, we're having everyone work as hard as possible. There's some hype for this game. Beats by Dr. Zach. This is going to be <laughs> hopefully a decent game that we see some some profitability on now we're not gonna get to keep all this money but i'm really hoping that we can start to crush it we have four people working here our 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 the oh my god strong audience and mature oh why didn't that game do better then okay so we're gonna do uh level design and we're gonna just uh throw that to alan and then artificial intelligence i mean i'm not gonna say it's too high here uh and then we can go with amy on dialogues okay let's do that let's hope for the best here we need to make some money, guys. We've really spent a lot of money on Tropical Storm, and it just did not pan out. We need better games. Game is off the market. Tropical Storm kind of sucked, so... You know, we didn't even make our money back on Tropical Storm. So let's go here. Sound is probably the most important. So let's have Amy on sound. I'll be on graphics. Sid can be on world design. There we go. Okay, let's go to marketing. We're going to get a magazine article in here. Boost this hype over 40. Hopefully people are excited to buy Beats by Dr. Zach. Hopefully it flies off the shelves. I think technology is a new massive success here. And design is increasing a little bit too. So right now the hype is about 50. We got to get rid of all these bugs and then we'll be good to go. There we go. Okay, so new record in technology. And it looks like we're leveling up in a ton of categories. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, this is great. So reach level 5 with the character. We did it. We're a professional. Okay, um, let's see, uh, once trained, boost all, okay, new research, branching story, well, let's research some things, so let's do, um, let's do better AI, and that's gonna cost us a lot, then let's research some new topics, so new topic wise, we can go with, uh, evolution, why not, and our reviews are in, guys, oh my god, we needed a 6, and we got an 8 from Star Games, a 7 from Inform Gamer, an 8 from Game Hero, and a 7. So we got 7.5. We only needed a 6. So that's going to make us a ton of money, I believe. I'm betting. Farming. Oh, my God. We can do a farming simulator, guys. This is going to be our next big game. Farming simulator. And look at the money that's going to be coming to our account. $300,000 a week from this company. Beats by Dr. Zach. It's going to keep us in business, guys. We really needed that. Okay, so now that we got that, let's go here and develop a new game. This is going to be for ourselves. We're going to make it medium. E for everyone. Um, it's, it's, it's genre is going to be farming. Actually, let's do a Y for Yun and let's do a farming simulation game. Um, and let's do, no, let's do E for everyone. And we're going to put this one on the PC. We know we have a lot of success on the PC. We're going to call this one Farmville. 
Okay, Farmville, guys. You never heard of it? Well, it's a good game. So let's go here. 2D graphics. You know, this is going to be... And then if this does well, we can make an engine and hopefully do a sequel of Farmville. Uh, okay, so we know that the story and quest is important. Gameplay is important. So let's put me on gameplay. And then we'll put um, Amy on engine. And then that should be good. And then we'll put Sid on, on story and quest. So... Let's go ahead and market this a little bit, you know, get some magazines, get some hype about Farmville, you know, get some early articles, get people questioning, what's Farmville? Sounds pretty interesting, so that's what we're going to try to do. Just get them acquiring, get them asking questions. Let's send her on vacation. It looks like Amy needs a little bit of a vacation. Artificial intelligence is important. Level design, not so much. So let's do artificial intelligence, level design, and there we go. Oh, that's Amy. Okay, so let's put Sid on that. And let's put Alan on this. Okay, there we go. Because Amy's on vacation only for a little bit. But now that we're in the second stage, let's do some magazines and demos. Get this hype up for Farmville. Because I think Farmville is going to be our best game ever. I think we might have a chance of getting a 10. Our best game before was a 9.75. But I think this gives us our big chance, guys, at getting a 10 overall in gaming. So that would be amazing. It looks like we're going into the third category here. So story's good. Gameplay's also very important. I know that much. So let's keep it this way and focus on those. Okay, so now marketing. Let's do we go all in and do a two million dollar budget? No, we can do we can do a five hundred thousand dollar small campaign. Really get the hype going for Farmville. We're betting everything on Farmville though, guys, because we could go broke. We have a lot of employees. They're very expensive. So we're betting a lot that Farmville is going to be successful. The market's stabilized. Okay, there's no trends. Technology broke a record. Design, I don't know. We haven't been doing great in design. We definitely have to get someone good in design. Okay, we have another bug. We got to get rid of that. There we go. 19 and 50, okay. So, no new record in gameplay or game design. But technology in the game is amazing. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to send our friend on vacation. And the game reviews are in. And the game reviews are in. It's a 10! It's a 10! Oh, another 10, a masterpiece! Another 10, only one more, everyone loves it. Oh my god, oh my god, give me a 10. No! Can't wait for the sequel. Okay, a 9.75. Again, we have not had a perfect game yet. You know, I'll take it. Beats by Dre's off the market, or Beats by Zach. Let's generate a game report. Why was Farmville so good? Cold Stats set a new standard for early gaming industry. Okay, we're setting a new standard. But here we go, Farmville, guys. We're selling a quarter of a million copies in the first week. We're in the number one game. The number one game. Oh, my God. We're making so much money. Gold, sell half a million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just got word that Farmville has recently reached 500,000 copies. Oh, my God, guys. Here we go. 500,000 copies. I think it's time to expand. Let's do a show reel. We need to spend, you know, $500,000 finding someone that's good at game design. We need to boost our designs. Okay, here's our uh, industry news. Okay, we're doing amazing. Let's look at the game report. Okay, simulation world design seems to not be very important. And there we go. We're doing great, guys. Look at this. A million copies we might hit. We're going to hit a million copies sold. We have $10 million in the bank. Okay, so design. We need someone with amazing design. Impeccable design. Okay, 369 and 30. Well, this is 341 and 58. So we're going to go with Rosa Goodman. Okay, so Rosa's hired. Let's train her. Give her a staff welcome. Platinum, sell 1 million copies of a game without the help of a publisher. We just got word that Farmville, which was recently released by Doer Games, has racked up over a million sales and it's gone platinum. Oh my god, and we're still number one, guys. We are still number one. Let's generate a game report for Beats by D Dr. Zach. Okay, so there we go. Everyone, no one needs a vacation. That's great. Let's go to research, guys. We got to research more topics. Let's do uh, sequels for sure. And then let's, uh, we definitely need a large booth. Let's do it. Large booth. We're going to spend all the money we can. Um, let's do a branching story. Yeah, let's do a branching story. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting, guys. And then I think we're going to focus on making a gaming engine because we've just, we're doing so well. We're still the 40, we're still the second best game in the world right now. Okay, so what did we do wrong with this game? Okay, graphics seem to be quite important for this and the young audience is great. Okay, so we do have 20 research, so let's go to research. We can do mono sound. That's not very important to me. Let's see what other topics are out here. Uh, let's do law. I mean, I don't know how important law is going to be, but let's just do that. And let's go another new topic. Let's do uh, colonization. Let's do ninja, I guess. I mean, 
We'll try to get as many games researched as we can. And then we got to start creating a new engine. Oh my god, Farmville's going to get even more attention, guys. Could we sell 2 million copies? So we had 200,000 people last year. Let's see if we can beat that this year. So we're hoping, okay, 241,000 people visited our booth. Okay, the Nivendo has released a new system, and we didn't make the top 100 booths again. But we're getting close, guys. We have a lot of fans and a lot of money in our bank account. Now what I think it's time to do, guys is to make a new gaming engine as soon as everyone is freed up. So we've completed a lot of new stuff. If we make a new engine, we can... Oh, shoot, I just declined something. I don't know why I declined. Let's create a custom engine, guys. Okay, so we're going to call this um, Mega Gamma. Or Mega Gamma. Wait, Gamma. Should we do Gamma? Let's do Mega Gamma. Um, and let's do uh, 2D graphics. Do we not have 3D graphics yet? Let's go to research. So gameplay, there's no gra new graphical updates, but we have such. Okay, we're gonna we're still gonna make the engine. Okay, so create the custom engine. Let's call it Mega Gamma. Okay, we'll do the 2D graphics. We'll do a linear and branching story, or we'll do a branching story and simple cutscenes. We'll have a save game and multiplayer. We'll have game tutorials and better user experience. We're gonna have better dialogues, level editor, Easter eggs, better AI, open world, day and night, stereo sound. Okay, this is $400,000, guys. This is going to be a very ambitious project. So we're going to create this engine, and this engine is going to be what makes us the next famous game studio. Because look at this. Almost 2 million copies sold. Farmville's off the market. 1,563,000 sold. We made $17 million off of Farmville. So we want to make a sequel off of that. Okay, we want to make a sequel, but we have to, to make a sequel, we need a better engine. Okay, so Farmville was so successful though, definitely going to release a sequel. So let's get this engine made, and then we can release an amazing sequel here, guys. I'm so excited about this. So Mega Gamma, and it looks like 100k engine. Invest over $100,000 in a new game engine, and we did it. So Mega Gamma is now available. So let's go ahead. Do we have to send her on vacation? No, we don't. Do we have to send him on vacation? It looks like he might need a vacation. Send him on vacation. And then let's, uh, as soon as he's back, guys, we're going to get to work. More, more work, okay? So let's go to a new topic. What other topics are there? Transport simulator, guys. That's going to be huge. Let's do more research. There's another new topic we can do. A crime type of prevention, I think, would be huge. Well, let's just do cyberpunk and get some of these out of the way. So there we go. As soon as Sip Meyer is back from his vacation, guys, we're really going to amp this up. And we're going to do a sequel on Farmville. And I hope a lot of people are excited for it. So we have a new engine, so this is the perfect time to do the sequel. Let's develop a sequel to Farmville, guys. Okay, so we're going to keep everything the same. Um, the platform that we're going to release it on is going to be the PC. Uh, the engine's going to be Mega Gamma. This is our first gaming engine, guys, so this is going to be Farm Town. Okay, so instead of Farmville, this is Farm Town. Uh, e for everyone. Okay, so let's do it. 2D Graphics V2. Okay, we'll develop on that. No 3D graphics exist really yet, so, you know, we're going to go into the early stages of marketing right away, get magazines going here. So, gameplay is important, obviously, stories and quests aren't, um, and we're going to do branching story, simple cutscenes, save game, we're going to have everything, guys. Everything is going to be offered in this game, it's going to be the complete package. People are going to have to be really, really excited about Farm Town, because Farmville was good, but Farm Town is going to be that much better, guys. We're going to have so many things added. This is going to be the highest scoring game we've ever made. We're hoping that it's our first perfect 10. Okay, so dialogue, and we're going to keep level design important. We're going to do better dialogues. We're going to do Easter eggs, level editor, and better AI. So this is going to be very, very good. I'm really excited. So now that we're in the second stage, let's do some magazines and demos, get some more hype around Farm Town. Because Farmville, you know, we spent a lot of money and people are really excited. So they want to do an interview, okay? Many of the readers are curious about which decisions you're making, okay? So more on dialogues, more on artificial intelligence, of course. That's what we're going to focus on. That's going to bode well for us in interviews because we know that's more important. So here's the review. So basically, a lot of people, uh, every game development project is limited sources, so it's very important to most effective. Um... Okay, so yeah, so a lot of people agree with us. That's great. So there's hype here. So now what we're going to do is let's do some small, we're going to do a small campaign. You know, we're going to get this hype up. We're going to make sure people can't wait to get their hand on it. Stereo sound, open world, and day and night cycle, guys. This is going to be the future of everything. So we're going to do Rosa Goodman on our design here. I'm going to get behind world design, and we're looking really, really good, guys. So let's run this. Okay, the hype is unreal right now. 
but we're going to spend $2 million on a larger campaign. So we've spent roughly $3 million hyping this game up, so we'll have to see how it does. Plus, we spent all the money that we did on the game, which was tons. So we really need this game to be very successful. Now it's riddled with bugs, so we got to get rid of those. As you can see, this is definitely going to be our highest scoring game on paper ever. As you can see, 46 design and 73 technology. New records in each single one. So Farm Town's looking great. It's looking like it's poised to do some really big things. So let's release this game. Do the salary increases. We're going to see some more salary play paid out. So that's fine, I guess. Uh, the first reviews are in. Now, this is a sequel to our popular game, Farmville. It got a 9 from Star Games. Outstanding game, they said. It got an 8 from Informed Gamer. They said they love it. They got a 9 from Game Hero, they said great game, and it got a 10, so we actually got an awesome from all games, and they're the only ones that didn't give us a 10 last time. So our average score is a 9. The last game was a 9.75, so this is really, really good. So let's send Amy on vacation, it's going to be well deserved, and we're probably going to sell a ton of units of this game. Not as many as the last game, but we're going to really make some decent money. So let's do a review on Farmtown and see why it was successful. Uh, it looks like we don't have enough money to really do anything other than... Um, research mono sound, which I don't care about. We want to do, I think, next a soundtrack. No, character progression, then uh, video playback. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to mess with it. We're going to have to see what we're going to want to do. But right now, we're going to just kind of sit still. Do our games has recent released a sequel. So here we go. Um, we had outstanding innovation, people said, because we got a new game engine. So that's great. Okay, so we're worth $15 million now. We're, we're making good money. Farm Town's doing good. Uh, we sold 500,000 copies, so that will make some people excited, and maybe we'll have some good buy weeks here. Ladies and gentlemen, the surprise hit of the year is Farm Down by Doer Games. I rarely, I rarely highlight the sound of a game instead of the many other noteworthy features. The sound design was amazing, so people are loving our sound. They're, they're, they're preaching our game, so that's amazing. So now let's go here. We are going to develop a sequel to another one of our games. So we, we've done a, a couple games that have been relatively successful. So let's go down this way here. So we're going to go all the way down back here to Death by Weather. This had a really good score. We're going to make it a medium-sized game this time. Keep it M for Mature. We're going to drop it on the PC, and we're going to pick our Mega Gamma Engine. Now, this game is going to be called World's End, okay? So World's End. This is going to be a very exciting game that I think a lot of people are going to look forward to. 215000 right off the base price of developing this game. The only thing we did wrong was graphics seemed to be important for this type. Well, we focused on it. The uh, market really doesn't like when we publish very similar games too close to each other. Rosa Goodman is still new to the team. A few more games and teams shall be have higher potential. Okay, so we shouldn't have published the, the trends back to back, I guess. That was probably, in hindsight, a horrible decision. But let's get Amy on this, and we're going to toss uh, Rosa on this. Um, and then we're going to toss myself on story and quests. So let's launch that up and get everyone behind this game. Now, Rosa is new. We're not going to spend a lot marketing this game. We're going to try to save up some money so we can get a new studio space eventually. So we're going to market a little bit of our game in the magazines. Maybe a release a demo for this one. But this is a sequel from an older game that we released on PC. So hopefully a lot of people are excited about this. Like I said, we're probably going to focus on artificial intelligence a ton. And I think we're going to toss Amy on that. And then on dialogues, I think we're going to toss a uh, sip on that. And I'll toss myself on level design. So there we go. Now, in this phase, I will do a magazine and demo just to get some people's hands on World's End. And they can see how the disaster game's functioning in a larger world environment. Because this one is actually in a medium-sized game instead of a small. And of course, we're going to go with a large booth at this year's convention and hope that World's End gets a ton of promotion from this. Now let's lower the sound here because it's not as important. And for sound, we're really going to throw, I think, let's throw Sip Meyer on this project. And I'm going to throw myself on game design, or world design, and, she's gonna, and Rosa's going to go on graphics. Actually, let's throw myself on this and Rosa on world design. So there we go. Now let's see how well we can make this game. I don't think Alan's doing anything. Let's send him on vacation next. Oh, we have a couple people on vacation. I forgot that Rosa is on, but she's doing world design, so that's not that important. So good move by us. Let's go to marketing, though, and do one more magazine article. Get people kind of excited about this game. And this game almost sold a million copies. Farm Town. Maybe we can do another sequel later and make it a trilogy. But this game has such good design and technology, guys. It's ridiculous. And we're about to get a lot of hype from the G3 convention. World's End is there. It's featured, and it is not released yet. So hopefully we see a lot of people going to our booth. 271,000. That's the biggest booth we've ever had. Um, we did not make the top 100 booths again, but that's okay. 
177 hype though. So we're going to finish off all the bugs to this game. And it looks like 43 and 93. A new record in technology. Design was close to having a new record. But let's release this game now. Okay, so we're giving salary increases. We got some new stuff that we can do. Boss, our office could really use. Okay, so we're going to do some renovation to our office for $150,000. And our office is looking good. Okay, so let's uh, research some stuff. Okay, let's do a... Uh, let's do AI companions. That's not bad. Let's do character progression. Okay, so G3 training. Since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we decide to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, the reviews are in. Oh, my God. And we got a 9. One of the best games, Star Game said. Got a 7 from Inform Gamer. Nice experience. A 7 from Game Hero. And another 9. So an 8 this game averaged. And it's another sequel. So we're probably going to make some decent money. And it's on the PC, which has decent market share. So let's get ready. And it looks like a new console is coming out. We don't care about that that much. But this one's not going to quite sell as many. So not 90000 So we're making still a million dollars a week. But our sequel come out. And it looks like the newest game in the series titled World's End was met with great response. Critics praised it. So that's great. So now let's go to Generate Game Report. See what we did wrong. See what we did right. Let's research maybe a new topic. Are we seeing anything that we want to do? We'll do alternate history. Let's research another new topic. Maybe we can do, um, hmm. Let's do uh, civil colonization. We can do a colonized strategy game. I think that would be fun. We have a proposition, special agent, our offer. Uh, no, we're not going to do any special agent stuff. We don't believe in that. He's not going to give us any great deals. Okay, so we're almost at $20 million. We've really polished this office up. It's looking great. And we published some successful games. Now, guys, we're going to end this episode here, so let me push save real quick. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on those notifications for the channel. And this was almost 40 minutes long, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, remember to take it easy. Lemon squeezy.